National Laboratories made a unique discovery, and that is that fog water contains a oh, hundred times the concentration of methyl mercury than rainwater. And this is a very unusual finding. It has implications for uh, mercury cycling, especially near the coast. Our uh, project is to understand the, the marine processes responsible for the transport of mercury from the oceans to the maritime chaparral complex and redwood forests. And we believe that this transport is affecting concentrations of, uh, of mercury in terrestrial species. a variety of collection equipment, um, some sophisticated, some very simple. We, uh, we deploy plankton nets uh, and capture plankton both from the midwater and from the surface, uh, the very surface. We capture water into, into bottles using what's called a CT, CTD rosette sampler and uh, retrieve uh, water from all ocean depths. We use sediment coring device, the, the devices that are used to recover uh, undisturbed sediment cores from the ocean bottom and we uh, jump over the side of the ship and take a look around and, and capture uh, organic aggregates or marine snow particles into syringes and jars. With these tubes, those seal ones. It's good for the boat, but... Mercury is one of these mercurial elements. It has many different forms in nature. It exists as in the elemental phase, which is a liquid. It exists in the complex with sulfide, which is a mineral uh, cinnabar. It exists um, as an ionic species dissolved in seawater. It exists as a gas in terms of both its elemental species and the dimethyl species, which is a gas. And monomethyl mercury is an ion that's dissolved in seawater. So it behaves very, although different species behave very differently, both dimethyl mercury and monomethyl mercury are extremely toxic and, uh, and have been implicated in, say, the Minamata disease in Japan or uh, neurotoxicity of, in people who eat a lot of fish, for instance. And so what we were trying to do is figure out where these toxic forms are being produced and how they're getting from the oceans into, into fog. Another, another thing we do while we're at sea is we actually sample the fog. We have constructed a uh, fog tower on top of which is an active strand fog sampler and this device utilizes a, a fan and it sucks fog in past some uh, Teflon strands and the fog uh, condenses on those strands as it would on a spider web and the condensed water drips into a trough and we can collect fog water for uh, uh, subsequent analysis in bottles from this tower on the bow of the ship. The, the levels of mercury in our environment are increasing rapidly. There's already three times the amount of mercury in our environment due to industrial activity. This is impacting uh, the uh, level of mercury in our, in our food. And it turns out from this study, it's not just in fish. It's getting into terrestrial biota. I think that the results of this study could help us to manage and maybe put limits on uh, mercury release, particularly from coal-fired power plants and on other industrial sources. It, it's also going to tell us something about how to mitigate the uh, production of methylmercury in the marine environment and maybe mitigate its transfer in terrestrial systems. I have a favorite chemical. 
Well, I'm fond of caffeine. I'm fond of uh, adenosine triphosphate. I, uh, I am enamored and perplexed with the complexity of mercury. I'm impressed with the role that iron plays in marine systems. I love nitrogen. Uh, and no, I don't think I have a favorite one. They're like, they're all like children of mine.